Well, let's first start off with our, our approach. We're going to use a step and a half approach, and I'm going to show you that. But right now, I've got helping me here a former holder, but also a punter for the Green Bay Packers, Bill Renner. And Bill's going to hold the ball the way I like it. Now, many of you are going to want to change the position of the football when we put it down there for your holder. So what you want to do is you want to find the position the way you want the ball held for you. And that's going to be different for each kicker. A lot of soccer kickers like the ball slanted one way or the other. For me, I like the ball almost straight up and down because that's where I hit the sweet spot every time. So Bill, why don't you hold the ball for us? Okay, now what we've done here is we have a spot. Now as what you want to do, if you're kicking without a tee, what you want to do is you want to find a spot down here on the ground. And what I normally would do is go out and kind of mess up the turf just a little bit on AstroTurf or on grass, you'd go out and kind of push the grass up a little bit so that you've got a spot to shoot for. But that's where the ball is going to be placed when the center snaps it. That's where the holder is going to put it. So Bill, why don't you put it down there when I say set. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back off enough that I have a step and a half. Now I've been kicking long enough that I know where a step and a half is. But it's normally going to be approximately two yards, two and a half yards away from the football. Now when I say a step and a half, I mean my first step is going to be a half a step. My second step is a full step but it's all the way up here so that I'm getting some body momentum and weight going through the football. It also is going to make me cock my kicking leg back behind me. So my plant foot, now if you remember I said the plant foot needs to be in the same place every time and what happens after you've worked a lot you're going to get to a point where your plant foot's going to hit in the same place every time so that you can hit that football in the sweet spot every time. So why don't we try one here. Okay, set. Half a step, full step, and I'm locked. I'm ready to hit the football. Okay, let's do it again. All right, set. A half a step, a full step, boom. That's all it is. But you've got to lock the ankle up. Now at the bottom of the kick, down here, for straight on, you have got to have your ankle locked up. When I say locked up, I mean locked up. Not down like this, but up, so that you can hit the ball on the toe of the shoe. You follow through, you plant the foot, the ankle's locked up, you're locked back here, you come down, your, your knee locks out, follow through. One of the many drills that you can use as a kicker to really improve your ability to be consistent with your kick is working on a straight line. I think it's very important. It's one of the drills that we use at our camps all the time is we'll get the kids on, a, on one of the hash marks and we'll just kick, not even using a football, but just practicing your approach. Follow through on a straight line all the time. If you do that, you're going to be successful as a straight on kicker.